President Muhammad Buhari to CBM governor over new bank policy. Fear no one, you have my support. Welcome to the news and please subscribe to our channel. To get notified on post hot juicy news updates, please click on the notification bell. President Muhammad Buhari has urged the CBM governor to fear no one. Emir Fili speaking in Dora this Thursday after meeting President Buhari on the state of the economy and the bank's recent decisions pointed out by the press that the president is saying that he is happy and we should move and we should move. We should not fear anyone and that we must move on. He said, we can only continue to appeal to Nigerians to see this news policy as we have presented it. We will review it from time to time. How does this work? Because we are not going to be rigid. But that does not mean we are not going to reverse or change time. But when it comes to adjusting a lot to be a little higher or a little lower, we will do. Because we are human and want to make life good for our people. We do not want to make your life difficult. There is no need to worry as CBN is monitoring what is happening. And I can assure everyone that we are aware of our responsibilities. I will do what is right for Nigeria and Nigerians. What is opinion, reaction on the topic? Well, on this particular issue, on this particular issue, I am of the opinion that I am of the opinion that um, a lot of people are seeing it as oh, it is going to cripple a lot of businesses. And let me tell you, somebody, some people that run the POS business, it is bad business for them. In fact, I want to suggest to POS owners if you own multiple POS centers and that is where you get your daily 2K from, I beg, find something else to do. So this is not even, um, how do I put it now? So people are saying it's going to make life difficult, but I assure you, me, why I'm not, I don't want to be quick to say anything about it is because I'm watching, you know, it is going to stop, oh, kidnapping will no longer be this on ransom, can you, call? you know, that was people were saying when the new narrative, they were like, uh, kidnapping is still kidney, they will still start using the new notes now to make sure that does not happen. They have reduced, I think your minimum me now is 20,000. I am telling you. This is not good news. Like I said earlier on for, for point of sales um, people, those who are into this POS business, especially those who have multiples of it, that's, that is where they make their daily 2K from. Or more, I would just suggest to them more that this is a time between now and December 31st or when the policy will fully kick in, please, they should look for something else to do. They should look for something else to do so that at least... They're not going to be caught off guard. All right. Why this policy now when you have few months to leave power? Exactly what I said. I was like, how I wish, you know, this was done earlier. And maybe, just maybe, things would have been better. Maybe a lot of things would have been better. I wish this has come into existence before now. Okay. Somebody saying better late than ever. Okay. Well, yes, no. In a way, better late than ever. If it was made a law, it doesn't matter if, if, it's, if, okay, if it is made a law, it doesn't matter if he's living tomorrow. Hmm. Beloved the policy, please let there be peace. Have you kept money in such a way, Peter Water Tank? What is wrong with the timing? Is it late to do good? It is not late to do good. Like I'm said, me, this policy, I'm not saying, I am not saying that it is actually too late. My own is let it do what it was intended to do. That is my own. Now, when you know, do what you intend to do. Now, that time I will count. Open my mouth. So, yeah, government people who, you know, don't start again. Please, Amy Philly, the CBN governor, follow the order of the president. Do not be afraid of anyone other than the president or principal, the GCFR, President Muhammad Buhari. I appreciate this order. It is a welcome development. Because they do not want to create room for food buying again and rigging as well. My, so, now I make a detox. So let us even see how this unfolds. In the next two, three, four, five, six months, let us see how far this policy can take us. Okay, poor thing. How much do you have in your account? This policy will only affect those with stolen wealth. Are you really serious? The best economic policy, not economic policy, monetary policy rather. The best monetary policy I have ever seen. In Nigeria, both buying politicians will smell there's something this time around. 
Well, I think it is high time politicians get into their skull that to make sure that they get people to willingly cast votes for them is to make sure that they communicate with those people, is to make sure they treat these people fine, is to make sure that they treat people how they're supposed to be treated. Do you understand? If you are somebody who is a politician, let's say for instance you're a local government chairman, you are going to when it comes to your next election, especially if you have done well, if you're the type that you love, you're lovable, you're loving, you understand people, you know, your life not just bad for me, you know what's problem. I did tell you, I did tell you, then people are just going to vote for you. They don't need, all they need, all you need to do is to just keep replaying, oh, what you did and what, I'm telling you, people naturally vote for you. We should pray that it make a good impact for the progress of the country first. All the leaders have their way back. Leave this policy. Do a milo, do APC a milo coin shake. Bankers are the ones keeping their loot for them without the EFCC disturbing them. Hmm. All right. The corrupt political elites will definitely fight back to stop that since they knew that they are the target. Just let us be watching them since they cry, since they will cry more using the poor masses as defense mechanisms. <laughs> Uh, my brother, the corrupt political that will fight back and they will fail. I praise the president for supporting this policy. What is the importance of an era changing color and pegging what it can be during the day? Why was this not implemented in 2019? The target is not the politician, but we petty traders, petty contractors, artisans, farmers, and the downtrodden. Are you saying if I want to pay my workers at the site with 250000 I have to do three days withdrawal to pay for one day? You have changed the call of fine. With people like Dan Gauthier or Tedola Adelikis, Boa also be limited to how much to run their daily businesses. Give it a second thought. Politicians have been on advanced to play the games. So what of benefits there in for the command man? That is why you have to do transfer. Yes, for paying your workers, you have to do transfer. You have to do a transfer. Yes, yes. And that means anybody will not get bank accounts. You, you, this is them to go and get a one. Uh -huh. Okay. You can actually pay through economic means by doing transfer of payment order for the money into your customer account electronically. Exactly what I suggested as well. CBM carry go after 2022 election, you reverse it. Ah, ah. <laughs> reverse it for waiting now. It is that the president don't want to compromise with the outcome of next election. Yes, now he has been saying it. You know how long he has been saying it. Most of these policies are geared towards free, fair, and credible elections. Those politicians that depend heavily on, on what they can achieve with their money, votes buying and other things could not be disappointed. But me, after the general election, some of these policies will be reversed. Hmm. Let's see how it all goes out, Sha. Okay, on this note, we have come to the end of the news. We say thank you for turning in to listen.